Oh, hello, hello, everyone. Hope you guys can hear me. Sorry, we're having difficulty, uh, technical difficulties, but by God's grace, it shall, it shall pass. This one also shall pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord is my shepherd. Let us just worship a little, a little bit. Yes, Lord, you are my shepherd. He goes before me. He goes before me. Defender behind me. Defender behind me. I won't fear. I won't fear. Go ahead and share, please. As you join, go ahead and share and like. I'm filled with anointing. My cup's overflowing. No weapon can harm me. Oh, I won't fear. Oh, God, sing hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He always guides you. If you know that He's always guides you, He is your comforter. Just go ahead and call us, call upon His name. Amen. He's the only one that we have. Thank you, Jesus. His joy is refreshing. Thank you, Lord. He restores my soul. Mercy and goodness. Yes, Lord. Give me assurance. Give me assurance. Thank you, Lord. Only your mercy and goodness, Lord. And I'll see your glory. Yes, Lord. I will see your glory, Lord. Face you, face. As you join, my victory, your spirit lives within me, so I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me, my victory, my victory, your spirit lives within me, so I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. My victory, my victory, your spirit is within me. Thank you, Jesus, for your spirit is within me, Lord. I worship you and I praise your holy name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. I want to be here all God without you. 
Yes, Lord. It's our victory, amen? Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you this praise. Hallelujah. I am not alone. We are not alone because he's with us, amen? He will never leave us, not forsake us. In Jesus' name. He, I'm sharing, so go ahead. Take this time to share. Amen. Always calls me Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I am not alone. I am not alone, Lord. I am not alone. Thank you, Jesus. He's my comfort, always holds me close. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Serve a mighty God who always holds us close. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to this uh, another session of life uh, with a uh, journey with Blandine. And today we continue our topic of last week, which is I shall not lack. Amen. I shall not lack. Happy uh, Holy Week to everybody. Happy Holy Week and welcome. Welcome. Please go ahead and share. Like, subscribe so uh, you can get the notification the next time we go live. And like and then give the heart, please. That's how that's how other people also will get notified, will receive our post. Amen. Be blessed as you share. Be blessed as as you share. Amen. Let us pray and thank God for uh, what He has done and what He's doing into our life before we get into our into the the cook of the day. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you the, uh, the glory. Almighty God, there's nobody else like uh, like you. So we come again another day, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to acknowledge your name, to lift your name on high, to bless your holy name, because you are you are Yahweh, you are Yeshua, you are the God that was at ACC to come. You are the, uh, um, the unfailing God, oh Lord. You are the God that says yes and amen in the name of jesus our unchanging for god so we surrender ourselves unto you we commit this platform this broadcast for god and everybody that is watching even myself for god into your throne of uh, uh to your throne of grace oh god and then we pray father let your will be done oh god in the name of jesus i step aside oh lord that you can come and take the center stage father may everything that comes out from my mouth oh god be oh god from you may your holy spirit take possession of my mouth oh god holy spirit take possession of my mind every part of me oh lord at this moment is not me that speak it may let, let your will be done oh god because you know the people that's going to watch oh god the people that you have this message for father let them be transformed let be dead they've been touched oh god in the name of just we come against every plans of the enemies and we declare victory over this day we declare victory oh god over everything oh god that concerns us oh lord in the name of Jesus, and we declare and decree no destruction shall be a portion and as we as we, as we listen oh god we will not leave we will not uh, finish this thing at uh, this uh, uh Message of God the same way we will not leave the same way you go. We will not go we'll turn back the same way because we sh you shall transform us. Your Holy Spirit with the message of today, God shall transform us, O Lord, shall renew us, O God, shall strengthen us, O God, shall energize and, and energize us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. But at the end, of God, may you receive all the praise, will you receive all the glory, will you receive all the adoration in the mighty name of Jesus? I have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Before I start, let us uh, let me play uh, a minute videos for you. It is about a new product that is out there. That you, uh, it is the time. This is the time of Easter, so um, please go ahead and then and and then provide a copy. This season, discover a gift that goes beyond the ordinary. I will walk by faith even when I cannot see. 90-Day Devotional Journal by Blondine Shank. Embark on a transformative 90-day journey, guided by spiritual reflections each day. Structured on the SOAP Bible study method, this captivating devotional invites you to explore scripture, personal reflections, observations, practical applications, prayers, additional reading passages, and insightful journal prompts. 
Whether you're a seasoned believer or just beginning your spiritual journey, this devotional, rooted in 2 Corinthians 5 verses 6 to 7, is more than a book, it's a companion on your path of faith. Available in standard color interior with white paper, as well as Kindle and hardcover editions, this devotional serves as a beacon of inspiration in uncertain times. Why not share this transformative experience by gifting a copy to a friend, family member, or loved one? Treat someone special with a copy today. And as you make your purchase, please consider leaving a review. Your feedback means the world to us, and we truly appreciate your support. Thank you for choosing, I will walk by faith even when I cannot see this season. Order now on the author's Amazon page at amazon.com slash author slash blondine underscore chai and K or search for the author name Blondine Chang on Amazon. This season, step forward in faith, even when the path ahead is unclear. Order your copy now. Amen, amen, amen. We thank God for God's glory. Please go and order your copy. There's, uh, also, there's a French version that's out now also as well. So, and then which is, uh, Je marcherai par la foi. Même quand je ne peux pas voir. Uh, so it's in Amazon, both of them, the, the English version and then this English version and then the French version, they're both uh, in Amazon. And also you can get both of them in Amazon point, uh, Amazon.com, uh, so US. And also the French version also is av available in Amazon FA for those that live in French in Europe. So you can order that directly also from uh, Amazon FA or amazon.com so it's available in both uh, both regions so go ahead and then and then please patronize and then and then get a copy because it's a 90 days devotional for everybody if you're a seasonal believer beginner uh just just gave your life to christ or uh, or has been uh has been believer for a long time this is a, a great tool for you to use and also at the end we have um some uh, scriptures depending on subjects that you can, uh, if you go into some, some situation and then you don't know which scripture that, that correlate with it, there are some at the back that will help you, guide you along the way. And then, uh, and then also there's, a, there's an area where you can write, write notes based on what uh, the devotion of today. So there's a, a prayer point. There's also um, a questions and, and a prompt, prompt reflections for you to reflect what you read uh, each day. Amen. Hope that, uh, please go ahead and grab your copy. Uh, the copy is available on, on Amazon, uh, and the French and then the English version, both, uh, available on Amazon. Also, you have the option to go, uh, to the ebook, uh, ebook, both in French and in, in English are uh, available still in Amazon. Also go ahead and grab your copy. Welcome everyone. And then as we join, hopefully, sorry for the delay. There's a technical issues, uh, we started late, but we thank God that going forward, everything shall go smooth. And I, I bless God for your life, and I thank you for uh, for joining. And let's go ahead and jump into our uh, topic of today. So it's the same topic of yesterday, the last the couple last, last week that um couple weeks we talked about ash and all that, right? But we only we talked about what is um the shepherd. It's, it was our verse is based on on the. Let me bring that. Let me share my screen so I can bring that uh, uh, the verse to you. Yeah, it's based on Psalm 23, 1 that says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack. Amen. So the Lord is my shepherd. It's, it's there. The shepherd is to feed, to guide, and to shield. Amen. And then last week, I'm just going to recap. I'm not going to go in, de in depth, So, but you can go ahead and then view my, my last week uh, uh, broadcast. To kind of understand what I meant by sh uh, shepherd and what is the Lord, but here the Lord, and right here even the Lord is in that. This is not the one that I wanted to is the one with, uh, I think is the NIV. Yes, here it says the Lord is in, is in cap, right? All cap, and I'm uh, and I mentioned last time that when this when you see the Lord with all cap is what it means. The personal name of God is the intimacy, but it's, it, it it reflects what intimacy is. This one is, is it's not Adonai, it's not Elohim. This one means Jehovah Yahweh. So it's his personal name. So it's just the sum of the David David here was calling the Lord the personal name of the Lord. So that means it's a deep intimacy that he had. That is it's like a direct, it's not so, that it's just somebody in general, it's not like like anybody. No, he 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 
he called is the, the Lord, the Jehovah Yahweh, this personal name, he's his shepherd. It's not anybody else that's a shepherd. That's what I, I mentioned. And then we said that the shepherd is a person who tends what? Tends a sheep, right? And then also guide and direct and then and, and in a particular directions. And then we, we mentioned also that in the Bible, the, the, the shepherd represented what, uh, represented what the king leaders of God's people, right? And then the, the shepherd watched watch for enemies who attack the sheep, right? And defend them unnecessary. They tend also for the sick, the 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 the, uh, the sick or the wounded, right? And such to rescue, right? Those that are trapped. And then we said also that they, like like the let me go back there onto amplified amplified is saying is giving it the characteristic of a sheep of a shepherd, right? Which is feed, guide, and and then and then shield. And then we said make sure that whoever that you allow to be your shepherd in this life. Right, it, it needs to have these three characteristics. It needs to be able to pro, pro, uh, provide for you what the, the feed you with the, the true word of God, right, and then to protect you also uh, against anything that's coming to give you false uh, preaching and things like that, or, or protect you for leading you in the uh, or something when you go into, into the wrong way and things like that, right, and then also it preserve, it shield, so it preserve you to make sure that you don't you are rooted in the word of God and things things like that so at the end of the day uh uh until we we kind of uh understand who are who is a shepherd and then be either biblically or or just on or outside of biblical we will not be able to have a great a great mentor or a great shepherd in our lives right so and then a question that we're supposed to ask ourselves is like who are we allowing to lead us and, and have we fully surrendered our will to, 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 to that person, to God? Because God God is our shepherd. He's our ultimate shepherd. He's the greatest shepherd. He's the highest shepherd. And yes, he allowed other people, like the disciples and anybody else in our lives here, that to be our, the shepherds in our, in our life. Because of right now, uh, that's why he, he, he appointed people, right? And then he, he raised up people. To, to be a, a laborers for his harvest, right? And then some of them are, sh are shepherds. So the shepherd might be your pastor, the shepherd might be uh, uh, the, your mentor or some, some, whatever that is leading you into God's path right? to, make, to, to make heaven at the end of the day. So, uh, but the thing is that until we release control and allow God to take charge, right? We will not, <laughs> he will not intervene because he doesn't, he's not the God that forced himself onto us, right? So and we also define the, sh the the sheep. We also define who, who are the sheep, and we said Jesus called us what well, his, his sheep. We can see his sheep. We can see it in John ten, at uh, ten ten three. I'm not gonna go over it, but you can look. You can see it on my uh, my, my last um, broadcast. And then also we said that a sheep are mostly well, uh, as an animal. They are domestic, right? Women and animals, right? With, which, which has tendency of what to follow others. In the flocks, and it's, it's, it's either a person who who is too easily influenced or led, right? Well, so when somebody is calling, when you you are called or or, or you 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 call somebody or someone a sheep, it is because that person is someone that is dosa, that someone that is is compliant, that can go easily be influenced, that that can go alone, right? That can be led easily. So, but what is, uh, and we also mentioned that in biblically, sheep are cons consistently utilized by throughout the Bible as a sem symbolic right, representation of God's people. And additionally, the symbolism of, of the sheep's spirit animal can reflect as an individual, an individual inclination or desire of yearning, right, to conform to a, a certain patterns and I mean, certain norms. So that's what we said. So uh, uh, in the Bible, we are like a sheep, right? That's, that's I think I mentioned so why we are like a sheep in the Bible. But you can go ahead and and, and then see my previous post and, and then just read my previous uh, life and read. But today we're going to talk more about what does I shall not lack or lack nothing really uh, uh, signify, right? Because here he says, the Lord is my shepherd it, to feed, to guide to feed, to guide, and to, let me bring it side by side. Yeah. To feed, to guide, and to shield me, right? And I shall not lack. What does that mean, I shall not lack? Because we already talked about the Lord, we are to be the Lord being our shepherd, right? We talked about the sheep, who is the sheep, because if you are a she you, if you have a shepherd, you should have a sheep, right? So we cannot define that already. So now today is about 
who I shall not lack. It's about what is the significance of I shall not lack. What does that mean? Because most of the time, what is happening is like lacking people get confused people i don't know if people get confused or they don't really understand but lacking nothing doesn't mean you you will um you will have everything that you want but it's, it's like you but you will have all that you need we need to we need to set it up uh blessings uh, uh brother henry minister henry god bless you thank you for joining us and then uh, and as you share amen i receive thank you and then the, uh, may God bless you wherever you are. May he cover you. And may uh, also, may whatsoever you ask, may it be answered. Amen. I, uh, and I, let's go. It's just lacking nothing. I just wanted to just, just this, I set, us, set the ground up here. Lacking nothing doesn't mean that you will have everything you want, right? Because it's not because the Bible says things and then you think that you're taking it. And you think the thing that oh because he said I don't know we need to understand sometimes the context we need to understand because sometimes our mind is playing playing with us or the, the devil comes sometimes and it twists things and then you think that you deserve no lacking nothing that doesn't mean you're gonna have everything that you want it's not about what you want it's about what you need because we are we were born here for God not for us not for 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 uh, 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 for our own desire we were born we were born in this world for a reason. So it's not about us, but it's about God. Until you 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 shift your mindset, until you see that that is not about the, about you. You will you and then that whatever lacking nothing is not what what you want. It's not about you. It's not selfish things. It's about what I need in order to do the work of God. You will understand. You will see things better. You will see that actually what I have in my life is even more than what I need. And then you will be able to give to other because if you don't realize that you are lacking nothing, you will not be able to give to other people. Usually, when you you think you have what you need, you have more than enough. You will be able to give because you have more than enough. But when you don't feel like you you have, and when you think that you're lacking, even the small that you have, that even the small that you think that you have, you will not be able to give. Why? spiritually or oh, the lord is, is saying he has given you everything that you need everything that we need is already given to us since the since Gen genesis god has created everything on until the six days on the sixth day and he said after that he rested he already created everything that that generation until the gen until christ comes will need he already created it there's nothing else that he's gonna create that he hasn't created since the beginning. He hasn't set it up since the beginning. So something might be new for us. But that doesn't mean it's new to God. God knows the end from the beginning. So that means everything that he has done is already set. Everything that is already, everything that he has, he, he, he needs for, for, for the, the, the new world to come. So for the end time to come. And in the life after the end time is already done. It's already there. So whatever, we, blessings, uh, Brother Melvin, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for joining. He says, uh, you have everything you need and whatever you do not have is well within your heart. Amen. Amen. That's, that's a blessing. Yeah. Then, yeah. There is, whatever you do not have is well within your heart. And then there, that's the thing, because most of the time we are focused on what we want and then we don't see what we need. Amen. And then, and then most of the time we have what we need. We have all everything that we need. And then the Bible says his grace, the grace of God, the grace of God is sufficient. Amen. So his grace alone is, is sufficient, is enough for us. So it is, it's so lacking nothing simply means what? Having everything necessary. In other words, that, that's what it is. Ha lacking nothing is simply means having everything necessary, which God has promised to us. Amen. So, but the, that promise doesn't come, <laughs> doesn't come freely. That promise comes with a condition, right? If you see here, it says, the Lord is my shepherd, Co uh, comma, right? So before saying, I shall not lack, the Lord needs to be your shepherd. So there's a condition. So, so it's not like, okay, because the Bible says, I shall not lack. So that means nothing. But what are you doing? And are you complaining after, after what? Oh, I don't have this. Uh, or God promise it's not working. It's not this, it's not that. But at the end of the day, are you following what you're supposed to do? Are you doing what you're supposed to do? Are you making God your shepherd? 
So God must be our shepherd first. Having everything necessary or lacking, nothing doesn't imply, like I say, obtaining all our desires, right? It's, but it's, it's, it's receiving all that you truly require, you truly need for the purpose God has for you. The good question to ask usually is what? Are we aware of our genuine needs? Are we even aware of it? Or are we fixated on what we want and on fulfilling desire or what we don't have? And at the end of the day, complaining about them. Most of the time we what we perceive what we perceive as lacking may be what we truly don't need. Pursuing unnecessary desire often leads to what? To discontentment. In other words, what we don't need is what brings us dissatisfaction. It's what brings us anger. It's what brings frustration in our lives and making us not doing things that we're not supposed to do. So sometimes when you desire something, ask yourself or ask God, is it a want or is it a need? God will not just give you the when he said the desire of when God says I will give you the desire of, of, of your heart. Most people quote that uh, quote that verse, but the, that desire of your heart needs to be aligned with God. So it's better to say, God grant me the desire of my heart that is aligned with with uh, with, with your will, because if it's not aligned to His will, and if you give it to you that same desire, that desire that He had given to you, if He allow it to come to come into your life. That thing that happened, that's the one that's going to kill you. That's what is going to destroy you. And at the end, you're going to come back to him. You're going to cry. If you see that some people that will go to God, I want this, I want this, I don't want this. They don't care about the will of God. Guess what? At the end of the day, if it happens, if God has allowed it to happen, that doesn't mean it's the will of God. But guess what? You will go to the go through the, uh, that wrong path. He will let you uh, uh, experience that difficulty will ex uh, uh, allow you to experience, to see why he didn't want you this thing for you at the first place, for you to realize that this wasn't the will of God and it was my will. And at the end of the day, I am suffering now. And then is that because you're suffering, it's going to push you to go back to God and go to, your, to, your, to, uh, to his will. But guess what? Uh, by doing that, the times have passed. Your energy has been spent. The money has been spent and things like that. And some... Unfortunately, at the end of the day, they die even before making the right, making the right, uh, the the uh, the change. We turn it back to God. Some 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 others are, are are content about the the that 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 path because at the end of the day, if you're content, so that means truly you 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 are not even following uh, 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 the path of uh, of God, the will of God. You are not even that what you claim to be. Amen. Because guess what? When we prioritize seeking God, seeking Christ first and placing him above everything, even if you go the wrong path, even if you choose, we, we, we suburb on one thing. At one point in our life, because we are prioritizing seeking him, right? That conviction, if that, that because we are seeking him, he will convict us about the choice that we made and then we will return back to him at one point. So we will not, we will, we won't have this that sense of by 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 having Matthew, I think Matthew six thirty three where it says seeking first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and everything else shall be given to you. So as we seek that, as we seek the, as seek God, seek this righteousness and this kingdom, you we will not have that sense of lack because He will cont He will content us, He will give us, He will help us to see what we need, and then we will see that we have everything that we need. But by focusing, so by focusing what on the, the 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 creator right which is god rather than the creations everything else becomes secondary our problem is because we most of the time we're focusing on the creations if there's a food on the table if there's a blessing in the house instead of coming to take the the, the uh, open the door and don't just take one of the blessing why don't you just take the house why don't you just just make sure that you you are you are part of 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 the uh of that house and then the owner of the house i don't know why my head is, is cut off like that um but and then uh, that 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 the head of the house you have the title of the house and yeah what that that illustration is about is is, is what is the creator right creator is god and sort of going going and asking or taking the the the, the, the things that god has created for you 
why don't you just go higher and then ask and seek for God, right? Focus on the creator and he will give you everything. That's what Matthew 633 uh, means, right? Seek him first. I seek him first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. By seeking that, you're seeking God. And by seeking God, everything else, he says, that that, that, that verse says, and, and everything else shall be given to you. So the creation, everything else shall be given to you. And then and then you you will see even all of those as what? Secondary. Because the, all, all of them become so secondary because it's not that your priority. Your priority is God. So by doing that, that's a little bit what I wanted to emphasize and then set up the ground. So let us just see the, the, the things that are the benefit, right? Or when we said, we sh I shall not lack. So what are the things that, that the Bible says we shall not lack? We shall not lack of, of, of what, right? Some, someone might, might ask the question, what should, okay, I shall not lack, but okay, it's about what? It's about just food? But it's more than that. It's more than when the, the, the psalmist here, David says here, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack. It's not only, it's not vague. That's what uh, the Amplified Version says, to feed, to guide, and to shield. So we shall, we will, we will go down a little bit of um, on what are those things that we will not lack. Amen. Uh, I'm not sure we'll be able to finish everything, but wherever we stop, I will try to finish it next week. I will try to go live next week. If we don't finish this, I will try to go live next week. So uh, so we can have the, we can finish this uh, I shall not lack because I don't want to, to, um, uh, to make it, make it too long. Amen. So, uh, let us break this down. I think most of this, are uh, in Psalm 23, right? Psalm 23 is David has saying, has laid down. What is the Asha not like that? Even our daily life, we're going to, we're going to, we don't even realize it. Amen. Um, I think some, yeah, this one, let me go to, to the next. Um, he said, um, on verse two says, he makes me lie down in green pastures. Pastures, yes, is with S, right? He leads me via, beside the still waters or beside some, some other version said beside quiet waters uh, and, and restful, restful water. Amen. Still and restful water. So that's what it is. I, he makes me lie down in fresh, tender. Green pastures. Let's just stop there. So, uh, he said it makes it makes a light on in green, uh, 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 in green, uh, uh pastures. A pastures is we s right. Pasture is like what a place of just picture it. A green a picture a sheep right because the, this was in the context of the sheep, and a sheep comes to a land to a, a, a land where there's green pastures. Everything has been tendered to, amen. And then all they need, they can rest there. They can lie down there. They can eat because we know that uh, a sheep eats greens, right? <laughs> so that what I mean for us, you and I, it means what a place of abundance, fill with milk and honey. The Lord says, where your you, you, you step, your foot step upon, you shall possess the land, amen. You shall possess, and your land will be filled of or, or, with milk and honey. So see that green pastures as a land of filled with abundance, anything that you need, filled with milk and honey, filled with whatever you, that you need in this life. And then that, that has already been tendered. That's already been, uh, uh, I don't know, arranged uh, uh, only for you. A, a place where you can sleep peacefully because it says you lie down. Lying down is like, is is either sleeping or is either resting, a place where you don't have any uh, 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 chaos, a place of prosperity, a place where, where you can sleep without even thinking if the the, the enemy gonna come or if a serpent gonna uh, 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 flow by. No, a place where is a place of rest, still water. There's no there's no a uh, a uh, 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 shaking. There's no a uh, uh, wave, or there's no no. But that doesn't mean. Your life shall be it will always be peaceful. There will be so because the Lord says, What I send you out in the midst of as a sheep in the midst of the of wolves, right? But guess what? 
we we know that we are in we we are in this world but we are not of this world but that does that doesn't mean so that's why i said i just wanted to clarify that doesn't mean that we will not see ups and down but it's just like once you make lord the lord your shepherd there's some stuff that will not even bother you there's some stuff that you will see you will not even stress about for you you will know and you will move on because once the more you stress about because sometimes i'm when you're too personal like me i'm sometimes I'm too personal i take things personal and then that's the bad thing because at the end of the day it doesn't turn around right amen so all i'm trying to say here is, is like when he says he's gonna uh what we shall not like is what is a place of prosperity is a place of abundance is a place filled with milk and honey that anything that you need you will have amen a place that god has tended for you you have a house you have an apartment whatever you have you have a car whatever you have that's something that God has given to you. That's a that's a, 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 a some people don't even have half of what you have. That's already a blessing. That's why we need to be thankful, thankful to God every day, because that's a he 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 gave you a roof to sleep on. Some people are in the street. Some people don't have even even a a, 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 a comforter when there's a cold. But you you have more than that. God is giving you a peaceful place. He has given you a peaceful place. He has given you a pasture, a green pasture. The green pasture has S. So that means it's only it's not only one place, it's not only one area. Amen. It's el almost every area in your life that you have things to be able to go on. So I think the basic things of life, you have it. That's this lying down. And then when you sleep peacefully, because you know that your 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 maker, you know that your 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 rock, your shepherd. Amen. It's, it's, it's covering you. It's protecting you. It's watching over you. And let's see if um, uh, sleep peacefully. Let's see uh, Psalm 4 8. Psalm 4 8 says, I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. You see, it's only the Lord, but the, that Lord needs to be your shepherd. So this is a this is a green pastures. This is a green pastures. I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you, O oh Lord, you made me sleep, dwell in safety. So that lying down, that green pasture is a safety area, is a safety place. Amen. It's a place of joy, it's a place of peace, it's a place, yeah, it's, it's a place of abundance, it's a place of, 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 of healing, it's a place of, of it's a place of rest, of calming water. It's still water. Amen. And I think the other one, I think is the, um, some, I don't know, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to read all of this, but it says that um, some four, six to seven, many are asking who can show us any good. Another version, another version says, another translation say another, who can show us the prosperity? Let the light of your face shine upon us, O Lord. You have filled my heart with great, greater joy than when the grain and you are born. Amen. Abound. So some people might ask you, where is that? Where is that prosperity that I'm talking about? He said to lie down. What is that prosperity? Guess what? Let them talk and then just pray. Like uh, 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 just pray to God. Let them show open their eyes to see what you're giving to me. To see you might see something, you, you might go into difficulty, but yet you you have that peace, that sense of peace, because you know your your redeemer lives. You know that he had to, had to take take care of uh, take care of your anxiety, take care of that 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 burden. But other people might not see because they're looking carnally and they they they're looking or some they, they don't looking spiritually. But just let I, I tell the God, tell your God, let them see, let them also encounter you, and let them see what you allow me to see, and they will know that you are lying down in green pastures, not only in one green pasture, not only in, ma in many places, or places of prosperity, places of meek and honey, places of, of peace, places, places of love and so forth. Amen. And the other one is what? Also in verse two, it says, lead us in green pasture, right? It says, lead us in green pastures. So it's that, that's what verse two says, right? It will God, the Lord is my shepherd, uh, and then I shall know, I shall know, uh, uh um, want. And verse two says, He, he makes me lie down, uh, in green pastures, and He will lead me in green pastures, right? He will lead me in Christ's water, right? So He will lead you what? He will not lead you astray, 
when you make the Lord, so one of the, I, I will not lack, I, I shall not lack, right? Is be able to live a life in the right path, to live a life that, that no matter how, what the storm is coming, no matter what the storm is, 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 is shaking outside, you are in peace. When people will say there's a there's a casting down, you will say there's a lifting up, amen. So so as you see, remember that the, the Bible says when the uh, the disciple and, and Jesus was in in the boat, right? The way it was shaking, it was so they they, they thought that they were they were about to die. Even the water was coming inside the boat. But guess what Jesus was doing? He was sleepy. He was sleeping. While all of this it was happening. That's going to be your portion. He will lead you to that. It doesn't matter how shaking it is. You will be in peace. You will rest in that, in that, in that green pasture. No matter what's going on. Amen. It will lead you away. So that means, well, that's what the, the Bible said. There's a narrow gate that leads to, to, uh, uh, to Christ. There's a narrow gate. The narrow gate. And then wide is the gate that leads to, to, to hell, right? It will not lead you into that gate that will lead you to hell. It will lead you and I. It will lead us to that gate that lead us to that naval gate, to that to that the, to that that place of 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 calm areas, calm waters. Okay, what's going on here? I hope if you can hear me, please just uh, say something or, or or wave or say yes. You can hear me. You can see me back. I don't know what happened there, but the the devil is a liar. Uh, anyway, so uh, he said, yeah, there's some network issues, so, and and that, uh, I pray that God take control of that in the name of Jesus. Uh, that will it will be better. But he says uh, he will lead us in the green pastures. So, amen. He will lead us into that green pastures. He will lead us into that that quiet waters. He will not. He will not lead us astray. Thank you, uh, brother Henry. He will not lead us astray, but we shall rest. Right? We shall be resting. <clears throat> he will lead us for us to to rest, where we can have what refreshment, where we can have well being. Right? Imagine yourself sometimes when you work so hard, you want to go. You want to. Uh, you want to have that sense of of going somewhere else to travel, even if it's one day, go some somewhere else, even if it's for one or two days. But when you do and when when you do that, when you come back, you feel what you feel afresh, right? You feel changed, you feel uh, uh, rejuvenated or something. The, when he says here, God will lead you to that be, beside that quiet waters, amen. He will lead you to that restful place that you need. He will lead you to that place that even though there's a chaos, you will be calm. You even though there's a wave shaking and doing their own his own thing, guess what? You will be sleeping in, inside that boat. You will be sleeping in the inside that uh, inside that that that, that, uh, that situation inside that house because God, you know you are, you know that you are not alone. Amen. So that that's the same thing. He he is that's when he said he, he will lead us. That's not lacking is because he will lead us to a place of green patches. He will lead us to a place where it's calm. That's one of the benefits there. The only say, I shall not lack. That's one thing that we shall not lack. A good, a good leading of Christ. And also verse 3, the last version of verse 3 um, uh, says, he will, guide, he will guide us. Let me bring that. It, it says, he, he, resource, he resource my soul and he guides me in the path of righteousness and the name's sake. Amen. So guiding here also may be leading, right? So it guides us in the right path, right? The path of righteousness for his name's sake. So I want, this is really the, uh, really crucial because I want us to take this into really consideration because me too, when I was reading this one, that brought me to an awe and then I'm like, I need to be careful of what I'm doing now, now going forward because sh we said a shepherd leads his sheep. We all know that we we say the shepherd leads his sheep, and we saw it. We can see it also in Psalm seventy seven twenty, amen. And and in the path of what that that offers safety, 
that offers security, that offers well-being, prosperity. Amen. That's what the 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 the, the sheep the us to. The shepherd is leading us into a in, in offering us and leading us into a path of righteousness. It's not a path of destruction. It's not uh, to lead us astray. Amen. It's, it's, it's not to lead us to, to, to our downfall because that's the that's the memo, that's the 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 the, 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 um, uh, the devil who works there. That's the devil agenda to steal, kill, and destroy. But guess what? We, we may we may not be led astray. May we I pray, I just pray because sometimes it's not only the devil, sometimes it's only even people that can lead you astray. I pray, my prayer is that may we not be led astray by various kind of strange teaching or the pleasure of this word because the pleasure of this word also which is a is which is is the tools of the enemy amen and he's already the devil is already in the church and is also using the strange teachings amen we saw we saw that even with in, in the wilderness with with, with 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 jesus when the devil came and tempted and using the word of god to jesus but twisted only one things one thing and that one thing make the whole thing not nullified amen so we need to be able to be rooted in christ to be rooted in the word of god to read the word of god to know what is the word of god and know the bible for ourselves in order to be able to not be led astray to not be guided astray by, by, by strength teaching and by the pleasure of this word to know because the, the bible said it's not we we, we is we it's not only by Mention only by bread alone, but by every word that comes for, for, by, by every word that comes out, amen. Of the the the, the, the word of God. every every everything that comes about in the word of God. So if if it's the case, so that means the pleasure of this word, enjoying this pleasure of this word is temporal, and it also might be a might, might be a tough downfall. So we need to make sure that we are rooted in Christ. It's only the shepherd that will guide us to that right path. Amen. The devil will, and, the, and his work and his minion will only drive us to, to the, the things that will lead us astray. And that's, that's one of the things I we shall not lack because by us going to the right path, we will not be able to lack. If you, if you, if you walking into the right path, you will make your destination. If you are walking in the right path, you will make your destination. At the end of the day, you will attend that calling, that mission, or that purpose in which you, you started from. Amen? So that means at the end of the day, you will not lack, right? So, and then the, the, the key thing here, it says, for his name's sake. For, it's not for a man's name's sake. It's for Christ, God's name's sake. So, <laughs> we serve a God of honor. And that doesn't that, that 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 who doesn't who doesn't like his name to be tarnished. You yourself, you and I, we don't like our name to be tarnished. We don't like our name to be to be dishonored. So if we you and I don't like it, why don't you, what what why are we thinking that God likes it? This this is the part that kind of struck me when I was I was reading this. So he said he will restore our soul, right? He will guide us in the path of righteousness. It's not for your, your for, it's not for you and I that he will do that. He's doing it is for his name. It's for his name because what we are we are made in his image and carry his spirit. We have his identity, his DNA is in us. And then we want he wants us to behave and as, as expected according to his will, according to his precept, and so that he will honor his name. It's not all. It will not honor a a, 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 a a man of God. He will not honor a woman of God. Whosoever that no, it will honor only him. The honor goes only to God. The reverence goes only to God. It's not towards him. I don't care how that man, that man or that woman of God, that person that you you will highly esteem to a point that you reverence. No, that person doesn't deserve it. That person didn't die for you. The only person respect. I, I, I don't. I, I didn't say don't respect that person. No, you have to give that person respect. That 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 person uh, honor because give honor to to who honor is you. Amen. But we need to make sure at the end of the day, as you give honor to that that that, that man that man or that person, also give honor. Make sure that the honor of God doesn't the honor of that man doesn't doesn't surpass the the, the, the honor of God. Make sure the honor of God take preliminary pre pre on everything. 
Because everything that you do, everything that you say, they're not going to call that mentor of yours. They will not going to call that sister, that mother of yours. They will not going to call that father. Whosoever that, that authority that you have, in, in, no. They will see God because you say you, you are a Christian. But guess what? As you, you, have, you have kids. You have children. Some people have, some of you have children. Even, even those that don't have, you have nieces and nephews that you that you that that you take as your own right you are people that, that are under you at some at some point if as as the early people we care about our image we care about our name so anything that you pour into somebody you want that person you want that person to represent what that that that, that thing represent that that energy that you are pour out imagine that that person in 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 return is messing up is messing that up that person is in his return is acting as totally different of what you are saying what how are you going to feel it's going to be it's going to be hurtful it's going to be really hurtful and to a point where you say what's what's the point why you did it because of your namesake you did it because you know that people know that you are the one that mentoring this people this person you know that people will say this is my uh, uh, you are the father you are the mother of this person of this uh, this person or you are the mentor whatsoever uh, whatsoever it, it, that you find your situation in uh, your uh, your situation in but because of that because of that fact your name is attached to it because your name is attached to a work even at your workplace when you work with a team because your name is attached to that team you don't want at the end of the day for them to to point fingers at that group because your name is attached to it, because you don't want dishonor. It's the same thing with God here. When God is asking us that He that He is saying He will guide us into the right path, path of righteousness, it's because of His name. It's not because of your namesake. No, it's because of only His name. Because He He put His identity in you and I. He put His DNA in you and I. He put His spirit and He created you and I in His image. So no matter what you do, no matter where you go. You were created in his image. So, so his name is attached to who you are. So we need to be careful on everything that we do. Because each of us carry a his tag. Each of us carry a tag, a tag with the name of God in it. And so we need to be careful. We need to be careful on what we're doing and what we're saying on our behavior. Because he will either tarnish the name of God, tarnish the honor of God, or give him glory. And we also need to be careful because there's a counterfeit tag. We've been well, well, well known, but how are you going to know the, the counterfeit tag? If you wear a dress like this dress, right? Uh, uh, this top that I have, I there's a, there's always a tag in all of the dress. Most of the dresses has, has, has tags, right? It's just telling you what? That the brand, the logo of the person, the size and things like that, right? When I said... Each of us carry God's tag. Each of us are created unique. So in that tag, that which is in this, which is in you, you have God's name there as the brain, as the logo, as he he, he is the master, the person that created you, the person that created this outfit. His name is there in bold, in bold, big is the one that is really big, right? And after that, you have the size. And God has given you, he has made you the way you are. Special, unique, beautiful. I don't care what people are saying to you. I don't care what the formation that you think you have. You are still beautiful in the eyes of God. You are still beautiful and until you understand that. That size that he has given you, he has created you the way you are because of a reason. He has created you the way you are to fit certain a, a, a purpose that he has for you. Amen? And also, there's other other detail detail in, the, in in into that 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 tag. But guess what? If I wear this this dress, and then there's some dress sometimes that you don't even know, you don't even need to know to see the tag to know the name of the uh, uh, the, the, the the um the creator, right? There's some outfit that you see. There are some uh, uh, um apparel, apparel that you see that you don't even need to know who is behind. Who has made this fabric? Who has made this 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 uh, um apparel? This dress, right? What or this purse or this car? Why? Because of the logo. Only when you see the logo, you know. 
and then sometimes the logo you don't you don't even need to look at the tag the logo uh uh uh, uh maybe in somewhere somewhere on, on on the dress right so that means as as a human we have the tag of god and then the more we practice righteousness the more we follow his will we people don't need to go in depth to come and ask us and check with us if we are christian or not but the food that we put pouring out the foot of the spirit when they're going to see that they will know those those, those when they're going to they see the foot of the spirit those are the logo of god eh? that's the logo of god that is somewhere in us that's the glory of god in, in uh, uh, on us amen so when we exhibit those those foot of the spirit it is showing the logo of god you don't need to tell any, anybody that you're a christian they will know by your action that you are you are a christian because when you carry that name you carry that tag and you manifesting that tag amen so the the and then but and then by looking at the uh, uh, the quality of, of 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 a dress you will know that mm, this 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 dress is expensive because and then by looking at the tag you will know okay yes right but also you cannot when, when i mentioned the food the the, the the uh you will know them by the food right is and the food of the food of the spirit you cannot say you go plug a lemon from a mango tree no that's that simply means that where you went to plug that lemon is it was a lemon tree or something or, or that's the counterfeit something is wrong with that amen because you cannot say that you, you you call yourself a believer and then you do some 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 ac actions that put that that are not different than a non-believer and a non-believer and then you expect people to believe that who you are no you can't say you are a child of god and and then yet exhibit and manifest the 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 work of the of the flesh amen the work of the flesh we saw it in in the bible let me bring that the work of the flesh there's many 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 of the work of the flesh let me bring that verse yeah the work of the flesh he says now the work of the flesh uh are obvious sexual immoralities moral impurity promiscuity uh idolatry sorcery hatred strife jealousy outbursts of anger selfish ambition this this uh, dissension that's dissension dissensions factions uh there's a uh, there's more well, envy drunkenness carousing uh and anything similar amen and so forth so any of this uh you cannot say that you're a child of god but you exhibit those but because if you are a child of god if you are a christian you should exit you should supposed to exhibit the fruit of the spirit which is what which is love joy patience uh, uh peace uh, uh kindness uh, uh goodness faithfulness uh, gentleness self-control amen and it's that's why it says again these things there are there is no law there is no law because you are exhibiting the fruit of the spirit you are exhibiting you are showing the logo of god and then once the logo of god is shown once the tag of god is shown showing that means that the lord is your shepherd if the lord is your shepherd that means what there's nothing that can harm you there's no i don't care what the devil says i don't care what the, the who, 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 what is being sent to you what has been accusing uh, accusing you guess what it will be null and without effect in the name of Jesus, because what you have made the Lord your shepherd. So it doesn't mean that you will never, uh, you will never fall. You 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 will not fall, right? Or that it doesn't mean that when you go to a tree, uh, a mango tree, you plug you plug a, a, a foot, and then that food will be it will only be a uh, uh, bad, right? That that food will either be bad, green, or or ripe, right? Why? Depending on the season, you are plugging it. So if you wait too long, the the ripe the ripe food will will begin to ripe. So if you if you come too early, that food will be green. It will not be ripe. So that means what 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 I'm I'm trying to say here. So that means you might be dealing with some. Uh, I I mentioned we we saw uh, the 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 works of the flesh there, right? I might you might be dealing with anger. You might be dealing with addiction. You might be dealing with loss, uh, what uh, and what not. Amen. But if you are in ease in them and don't think that whatever you're doing is wrong. That means what? That means you're not who you, you, who you say you are. But guess what? And then if you are, you know, you realize that what you're doing, maybe because everybody, 
all, we all fought, fought short at uh, the glory of God. So, uh, and we are all in work in progress. So what makes us different is what? It's like, we know that we have sinned. We know that we are struggling with loss. We are struggling with anger. We are struggling with addiction. Whatsoever, whatsoever it is that you're struggling with. But guess what? But we are, stri we are striving to be more like Christ. We are striving to do, to get out of that sin, to get out of that, 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 that addiction, to get out of that, to get free of that bandage. Amen. And then by doing that is our actions, is our, is our seeking more of God, help us to improve, doing what, whatever you have to do to, to, to help you to improve, to be a better, a, 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 a better person. Then in due season, you will exhibit that Christ that in this season, without even knowing, you will you will realize that oh you don't you don't have that that addition again oh that loss has disappeared oh that 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 love of cigarette has, has gone in, in, from your body why because you have you have put God first your priority you were seeking God and asking God for your help making God your shepherd and he took care he took he took that care from you from, from you he said cast my care upon you upon me and I will I will sustain you I will take care of it but for, for but for you to be able to do that and for him to be able to accomplish that, he, he needs to be your shepherd. He needs to be your shepherd, and you will not lack at the end of the day. You will not struggle at the end of the day, even though things, things seem to be to, to, to be difficult. Because he is with you, he is your shepherd. And then more and more and more, because when we give our life to Christ, it's not the same day, the same day, the same day that everything goes. No, our spirit might be renewed, but our body, our characters. I see there, and then little by little, we will we 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 will ask God for help, and then to share that and to help us become more and more Christ character and exhibit the fruit of the Spirit and making the name of God proud, because everything that we do as a as a believer, as what we claim to be a, 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 a Christian, a, a Christians, is for the, a God's name. Amen. It's for the sake of God. It's for because He is leading us. He has given us all of that. He has sent His Son to die on the cross for. This is it's, it's the season. He has sent the Son to die on, for us on the cross. Why? Because of His name's sake. All of everything God has done so far is because of His name's sake. It's not because of your name. Because we are nothing. Amen. It's not because of somebody else. No, it's because only because of his name. And he has put his tag on us in you. And he has put his tag on us because he, we are created in his image. He's a spirit living in us. And he has sent his son to die for us. That alone is worth living the right way. That alone is worth fearing God and not allowing things to come out to come our way to take us away from God's way, Amen. Christ came to seek uh, uh, to seek the, the the lost and to save and to save them. He has come so that we we are but uh, we know we remain the same because you cannot say oh God because God, God has said come come as you are yes God said come as you are but don't remain as you are. Because of his name's sake, you come as you are, he accepts you, he opens his arm, and then you're supposed to, to be transformed. You cannot come in the presence of God, come in the midst of God, and remain the same. No, so that means you are not in the presence of God, you are in the presence of somebody else. Because he cannot put his tag on you, he cannot, he cannot continue to put his tag on you, to improve you, for you to remain the same. And for you to take the glory or for you to take some, give the glory to somebody else. No, the glory goes to the Lord, the Lord alone. The I'm first, I'm first on this one because this is something, this is this part really hit me when I, I was reading. So it's for his name's sake. Let us do for his name's sake. Let, let us do the right things. Let us behave the way we're supposed to behave. Not only when people are watching, but when or when also they are not watching, because guess what? God sees all. That's what said God says. He looks in the heart. God sees all. We might hide from people. We might lie people lie to people, but we cannot lie to God. So in everything that we do going forward, in this time of, of Easter, let's do the right thing. Because Christ is right. Tomorrow is a representing uh, is the representing of the day that Christ will be right, risen. We know Christ already rose. Amen. So Today, let us let us commemorate like, like, like from this day as Christ died yesterday. Let anything that does not represent God in our life die also in the name of that's my prayer for you. Anything that does not represent God in your life, 
in the mighty name of Jesus, let them die as they died to, uh, uh, yesterday. And then tomorrow, as Christ is as, as, as the day that where, where, where we celebrate, where we commemorate the, 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 the day Christ rose, may, may tomorrow anything any good things, anything that was dead that was supposed to be alive that was dead, let it rise up tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that, it, that, that the Lord has given to you, put into you, Amen. That those need that you may, may not even recognize. Let them be awakening. Let them be let, 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 let them be active unto you. Let, let God open your eyes for you to see them and not desire what you're not supposed to desire. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. So I will strive as you and I. We strive, we, are, we, we strive for people to honor our name. So do God. As we try to bring our, our honor into our name, so God uh, did everything so that his name will not be tarnished. So let us be conscious of our action going forward. Amen? The, uh, let, let us jump to the next one. I think I, <laughs> I spoke too much about this one. So, But the next one, it says he refreshes, like it's, the verse 3, it says he refreshes my soul right, and he will solve my life. So lacking nothing is also what? God is refreshing you. God is reviving you, you and I. Is refreshing our spirit, reviving us. Is that that brings us what? Peace, right? As as sometimes when, like, like I said earlier, when we go to vacation, when we want to go, we tired about the situation, or we work so hard, maybe maybe there's a situation that is uh, that is, is taking taking a, a lot of us, a, a lot of a lot from us. What we, what are we doing? Sometimes you go on vacation, right? You go somewhere, and then when you come back, you come back changed. You come back more, uh, uh, more revived. You come back more, more, more strengthened. More, uh, you have that, 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 that. Uh, there's, a, there's a word I'm looking for that that is, is uh, es escaping me. You have that. You, you, your spirit, your, your body is your, your mind is full fresh. Your mind is like a new. Sometimes you don't even need to go that far. You just need to go. Uh, uh, no, no, uh, not, not even that far. Just closer. Only two days away from your. Your current environment, and then you feel that God is sending you us that He's that's what He's doing for us to us as we make it is His shepherd. He's gonna refresh us in the midst of our, of our chaos. He gonna He gonna revive us in the midst of whatever is going on in your life and my life. God is gonna give bring us peace, refresh us, Amen. Every day rejuvenate our body, Amen. So that 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 means we will not we will not feel burden. That's why he says, uh, 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 "Those that are that heavy burden, come and give it to me." Why? This is a form of what of refreshing, a form of restoring you, for you to keep going. Amen. I know maybe the situation that you that you're going through might be might, might, might have to taken longer. Amen. That that is supposed to be, and, and and then you're asking yourself, "When is it going to end?" Don't ask yourself, "When is it going to end?" Just ask God, "Refresh my soul, Lord." Restore my life. Refresh my soul. So, but by, by the by, by the time he refreshes you and he restore you, you will meet you will meet, you will you will be more stronger to to face the next challenge. Guess what? We as long as you live in this world, attack will come, problems will, will arrive because he said, "I send I'm sending you you as a sheep in the midst of wolves." So that means. We live. If you look, look at what's going on in in in, in this in this world, the the world is chaos. But guess what? That doesn't that doesn't that, that that does not mean that we need to allow ourselves to fall into that trap to be to be mentally uh, depressed. No, let us hold on to God and ask Him to refresh. Us. Ask Him, and then because we are him, with Him, He will refresh us as we woke up in the morning. We shall wake up. It's gonna be a new day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Declare, so, speak the word of God into your life. That, that but by doing this, you're refreshing yourself for that for for whatever is is, is ahead of you that day. Amen. You tell God, no, take the the, the 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 center stage. I don't know what this day ought to be, but Lord, I trust in you. I put my trust in you, and I commit this day unto you. I commit anything upon this day. By doing this, you ask, you telling him, oh, you are, oh, my shepherd, take hold of my day, take hold of everything, and then you will see your this. Sometimes you, your day will go smooth. Problem will come. You will not. You will, you will even dismiss it because what he has he has given you stamina for that day to go, and then and then the next day. And so on. Next thing you know, one year has passed, two years has passed, and then you look, you look in the in, in the in the back, years years back, and you say, "Ha, huh? how did that how, how did that happen? How did, how did that do it? It's not you. It's God that did it because you you made him your shepherd, and he gave you something not to lack about. Amen. You didn't lack that because if you lack peace, 
you will not be able to continue. But he gave you what? Peace. He refreshed your soul. He restored your life. He gave you strength, stamina to go through each step of the way. Because every, guess what? He's with us every step of the way. It doesn't matter how, how we think that, we, that the things we are going through, it is so painful and you think we think that God is not there. No, God is there. Because the day he's going to open your eyes to see what he was doing at that time that you think that God has abandoned you, that's when you're going to realize, God, you are so faithful. Amen? The next thing, why we should not lack, I'm just going to go, go uh, trying to go fast because uh, we're running out of time. I hope I will be able to finish this, this thing. Ah, Lord, help me. Help me. Uh, he says, the verse three says, he will guide me on the, on the, the right path, right? Uh, it will, no, it will fetch my soul. And then the verse four says, I will not, let me bring the first, verse four. Um, let me bring that verse four. Verse four says, yes, though I walk through the, the deep sunless valley of the shadow of death, I fear no dread of evil. Uh, for you are with me, Lord, your word, your staff, your word to protect me and for your staff to guide me. Amen. I, I think I will go to, yeah, uh, no, let me go to uh, uh, NIV. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your law, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Amen. So the one thing that you will not lack is protection. And even fear. You will not be able to fear. Uh, even if you fear, you will have confidence. Why? Because it doesn't matter how deep the situation is, how dark the situation, how, how, like he said here, the valley of the shadow of death, right? Even though I'm walking into the valley of the shadow of death, even though you think that that situation that you're going through is so dark that God has abandoned you, guess what? God is saying, even though you're walking, that He is with you. I even said that earlier without, without, without coming to this, He is with you. For what the Lord is our helper. So don't fear. Because the more you fear, the more you feed the enemy to harm you. Because the enemy draws, the enemy feeds with your fear. So do not allow the enemy to take upper hands of you because of fear. It doesn't matter what is going on. Think, think, just grab on one thing. Christ, Christ already rose. Christ rose from the dead. He has defeated the devil. He has defeated the enemy. So whatever, if, if Christ has won the war, what do you think the battle that you are facing is will lead to? If the, because the battles, many battles are so, uh, combined, is, it makes the war. If God, imagine God has won the war already. He has won the war. So the battle that you are facing, it's just a battle that's already won because God has won the war. So don't fear as the battle comes, as the devil is bringing the battles into your life. Don't fear and say, devil, you are a liar because my God has already won the war. So that means even this thing shall pass. Amen. And this thing, I'm victorious. I'm calling that victory of God into this battle in the mighty name of Jesus. Pack your Lord and get out of my life. Pack your Lord and get out of my situation because you are not welcome in the name of Jesus. And I will not fear you. And I will love, I will use what? The love, I will use the sound mind and I will use the power to overcome you because God says he did not give us any, any spirit of fear, but he gave us what? Spirit of power, spirit of love and spirit of sound mind. Use that to defeat that, 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 that enemy. Use that to overcome that fear. I don't care what's what's what, what, uh, going on in your life, but you that spirit of power that I give, giving giving you. See, look, uh, ten nineteen. He said, "I giving you, amen, uh, the key to to tremble on the serpent, the tremble, the serpent, the scorpion, and to overcome every power of the, of the enemy, and nothing shall harm you." He gave you that power to do it. So use that power to overcome whatsoever is going on in your life. And he said, "He gave you love." He said, uh, 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 "Beside hope." Uh, 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 Love, charity, I think lo love and uh, that's first Corinthians 1 13. It, but love is, is, is the, the, the ultimate love triumph because what love is, is let me let me bring that. I don't want to bush, bush the, the word of God here. 1 Corinthians 13. 
So it says lo love surpasses, uh, no, love, uh, if I have love, love is patient, love is kind and things like that. Uh, love does not delight in evil, amen, but we just to be true. Love is always, uh, 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 it always protect, it's always trust. Let me, let me bring that, bring that up so at least you can see what I'm seeing at the same time. Um, so love never fails, amen. Love never fails, but there, there's, love never fails. And then for uh, uh, we know in part and, and things, but the part that I'm, I'm, I'm most focusing on is this part. And now these three remains. So after everything that was listed, right? There's three. These three main key that remains is the is the faith, is the hope, and is the love. But he is saying the greatest of this thing is love. So you can go and, and read and read this whole chapter. Amen. So at the end of the day, love surpasses all. Love triumphs all. And, and but uh, uh, love, love what? Uh, washes uh, uh, all imperfections, right? Amen? You will love. So with that love, you will triumph the, the, the fear, the spirit of fear. And the sound mind is the peace of God. God, God, the peace that God is giving us is not the peace of the, of the, uh, like the word, the word gives is the peace that only comes from God. And when he give that peace, I don't care. Like Jesus were, were, uh, were in the, in the boat when the, were, when, when they were, uh, the storm was, was shaking all the disciples and they thought they were, they were dying. The same way when this, when chaos will come into your life, guess what? Nothing shall harm you. Nothing shall do you anyone because the Lord shall give you the, the Lord shall, shall, shall do what the Lord shall give you peace. And when people will said, we will be saying, Oh, this one, I don't know how you, you giving, you keeping calm because you know that your, 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 your redeemer live because you know, your, your shepherd has taken care of it because you know that your shepherd has fought, fought your, bat, your battles, your, the war. And so that this battle that is happening is, <laughs> is nothing. Amen. So that's the spirit that we need to have. And when he says uh, that, uh, let me go back to uh, Psalm 20. 23, 4, that's uh, 23, 4, I think that's the one, yes. So you prepare it before me. In the, uh, no, uh, where am I? No. So even though I walk through the dark, the, through the, 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 the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. So it doesn't matter what's going on. We, we're not supposed to fear. Amen? So because what? Let us overcome fear in our lives by peace, love, and someone. Amen? God is with us. God is with us because he says here, even though I walk through the darkest, the, the, the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear for the Lord is with me. Amen. The, for you are with me. So the Lord is with you. So you are not alone. We are not alone. As we fight, we fight this battle. We are not fighting this alone. We, the battle is not even ours. Amen. Because the, the word of God says, battle is not mine, but this battle is of the Lord. He is the one that fights our battles. Amen. Even those battles, he is, even though he, he won the war, if, even the battles, he's the one that fights it. He said battle is not for, for us to fight. All we need to do is call, let him do his, his work, step aside and let him do it. All, we ought to just uh, call upon him and then know that he is the God in our life and that we are not alone. So he will never, he, and he said he will never leave us nor forsake us. This is, this is not only a mere say, this is a promise that he said he will not leave us nor forsake us. He is with us and he's fighting for us. Amen. And the next one says, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. We know that the shepherd always have rod and staff. Amen. Rod is what? Is for, is for protection. This, this, the rod is relatively short compared to the staff, but it's, it's a heavy club-like device, which, is, which I, I call it weapon. Right? It's a weapon that the, the shepherd uses against the enemies. That's why I say you're not fighting the, the battle. Have you seen the ship fight, fight, uh, fight before? Where, where are you seeing no if if you see a, you see a shepherd and a sheep the sh the sheep are not fighting anything it's a shepherd that fights for the sheep so as christ is fighting for us let us know take, take the battles in our, our own hands and self we don't have any strength of our own we don't have any any power but what god has given to us so let give to god what belongs to we and what what is for him he said battle is not for us but he is is his to fight so that's why he has the, the word Amen. For our protection. He is holding the rod for us, for you and I, to protect us against the enemies, against the vows and the enemies. That's what all we have to do is to wear the full armor of God. 
for protection. All we need to do is to, they, that, that, and then you can go and, and, and read about the, the full armor of God. This is all we need to do that you just to wear that. And for us to wear that, we need to make God our shepherd. We need to make, see, that's the thing. If we're going back to that, because by making God our shepherd, we will not lack, we will be protected. Because if you are not protected, we will lack. If you are not protected, we will not be, we will not be here to accomplish what God has given to us. Amen? We will be incapac incapacitated to do the work of God. Therefore, we will lack. It's because the Lord is our shepherd. He is the one eh, that is with us. And his word, and his, because of that, his word is comforting us. He's protecting us. His word is protecting us. So we will live confident that no matter what's going on, we are protected. Amen? And then the, the, the word, what, convey what? Power, right? Authority, discipline, and defense, and defense of the sheep, right? So, and then the, the, the shepherd also have our staff. That's why it says here, the word and the staff show, uh, they, they will uh, comfort us. So that only should give us comfort that we are not, not only we are not alone in the midst of our battles. We are not, you are not alone in whatever you're going through because God is with you, no matter what the, what the fact is, is showing to you. And he said his word and then his staff is the protecting you. Amen. They're protecting you. The, the, the word is protecting you and the staff is guarding you. The staff is going. The staff might be the word of God. The staff might be might be a friend of you that's sending a a a a a a a, 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 a word or praying for you. Uh, the, the, it, it can it can be uh, just somebody that's bringing you joy or, or making you change the atmosphere. It that and it's guiding you out of that 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 mode of suicidal, out of that mode of depression, and to a mode of oh, and showing bringing you life. Amen. So because staff as a, as a shepherd is represent what. Is a long suffering and kind, amen. So that means you might be suffering, suffering, but guess what? Somebody can, can bring a word that that will lift you up, that will lift your mind up, and get out, get get you out of of that 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 pit hole that that, that you are in. Those are as the staff of, of God in our daily lives, and then as a, a staff, a staff of a shepherd staff is usually long. A long stick, right? A slender stick. Often, uh, often uh, uh, with a hook or hook, a hook at one side, and sometimes at the end, end of it, the one that goes to the the, the um, uh, to the that, that touch the ground, sometimes is is like a uh, sharp. Sometimes, sometimes it's just flat. So that part, that end part, can also be used as a protection against the enemy, right? And oh, and then the the part, the part that is hooked, right, or or hook, right, hooked. It is useful for what for guidance for leading for bringing us back to the right the right path. So that's if you see if you see sometimes they use it to to bring back the sheep right when they uh, when they lead a street, and and that, for for you and I that it means what God is redirecting our path. When, and he's using that to redirect our path to bring us us back and then to get us out of that of that mood of depression of that mood of suicide of that mood of 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 of, uh, of, uh, of rabbit hole that we went into. That dark places, amen. Somebody can just bring you smart, bring you food, bring you something that that lifts your spirit. That alone, those 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 are the the, the staff of God into your into your, your your life and I, amen. Those are the things that 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 will write our life like a GPS is writing a path. Those are the things that will write our life. The shepherd used staff to manage, and sometimes catch sheep because sometimes sheep are in the deep hole, amen. Sometimes you might find yourself in the deep hole to the plan that you want to commit uh, commit suicide. That is a deep hole. That's in the valley of the shadow of death. And the, 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 the God will use that, 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 that stuff to, to, to bring you back out. Because um, somebody says something to you that say, no, God is more worthy. I don't need to take my life. I don't need to take my life. Some, something that will convict you, convict your spirit, bring a light inside you into that darkness. Amen. So uh, in the Bible, uh, we saw, we saw in the Bible, Moses has, has a staff, right? Which is used to for to signal uh, uh, to the Israelites, and then also to perform what miracles as the strap in the in the Torah, right? In the uh, Exodus. So uh, in other also in other 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 books of the of the Bible, and and then and then that that and the the Hebrew the Bible the biblical Hebrew, uh, uh, what of that is that mean that the, that who, that stuff mean was support and also used frequently to uh, in prophecies, right? Uh, we can see that uh, also. We can see, see we, like like this is the psalm. It's it's toward the psalm, toward the prophet po uh, po poetry, right? A word of God. But in other words, the rod and the staff in the hands of a shepherd. 
is uh, is for our protection and correction. So when we go out of line, and and he will use the staff to bring us back into the right place. And then when enemy forces to come against us, he will use those words to beat them away. Amen. So God chastened those that he loves. You will say, and then, and then those God also used to correct. That's why he says correction, right? He says, it, uh, uh, what, I, what I said, he will also correct us. And then we use his, he will use his word, his staff to correct us. I think it's Hebrew 12. I think I was reading that last time. Let me search, um, search for that um, scripture. The Hebrew um, 12, five, but it's, it's too long though. I don't think I will be. I will read the whole the whole thing. Um, I don't think I will be. I will read the whole thing. But uh, if it says, um, "And you have forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as a, a son, my son, do not do not take the Lord's discipline lightly." Or or uh, or faint when you are reproved, when you have corrected by him, for the Lord disciplines the one he loves and punish every son that he receives. So that means we are not exempt to be corrected. We are not exempt to be punished by God. Amen. It's because he loves us. Sometimes we go into things that is because God wants us to go through to those pain because he wants to correct us. He wants to discipline us, and it he says here enjoy. Enjoy suffering as discipline. God is de dealing with you as son. For uh, for what son is there uh, that the father does not discipline? Amen. I, I'm just going to stop there. You can continue. I think it's to, uh, to verse 12. But you can continue and read. Because you cannot say that you have a, a son or daughter and you cannot discipline that person, right? The same thing that you discipline your, your, your kid is the same thing also that God is disciplining us, right? Is you use his staff, his staff also, his word and staff to discipline us. To correct us and to uh, to bring us back to the white to the white place, amen. So and then the other one, uh, while we while while we shall not like the benefit is is in um, verse five, uh, is what God will deal with our enemy. He says, "You uh, uh you prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows." Let me just go back to the uh, to what I know, amen. So in here, God is telling us that he will deal with our enemies. So when God wants to exalt or lift us high, he will do it in the presence of our enemies. Amen? In the presence of those that mocked you, in the presence of those that said you are not good or good for nothing. But he will prepare the table, he will prepare the environment, he will prepare your promotion, he will prepare the miracles to a point that even you yourself, you will be shocked. Have you? Because me, I, I encountered that many times. Sometimes I'm wondering my, my, myself that, oh, how did, that, how did this happen? How did you even my, my last my last show, my last show I think, the, all, all, all that happened is the miracle of God. Even today, I'm still in awe. I'm still in shock. So God will prepare scenes, okay, uh, uh, environment, situation. That those are tables that He will prepare, and He will invite those. When I say invite, it's not like they will they will be close to you. No, they will see your. They will see. They will hear them, those miracle, those blessings. So, so most of the time we pray, oh God, kill, no, 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 no. Don't pray for the people in your life to, uh, uh, to, to die. No, no. That's why I said, God said, pray for your enemy. Pray for God. Pray for God to deal with them. Pray for God to help them. Amen. And then he will make sure that those people will see his work. His handwork in your life. So when you he pulls you out, he will make sure that they are alive to see it. That that they do not die, but they, they will be there to see it. As he prepare a table for you, as he make things happen for you. Guess what? He will he will allow them to see, and then by by them seeing it, they will glorify the Lord. In turn, if they don't want to harden their heart, they will glorify the Lord. Amen. So we can see, we also can see an example, a pure example of that is, is in the book of Esther, right? When we saw King, uh, 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 the king, <laughs> because of uh, <laughs> how, how many, he thought that he was supposed to be the, 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 the one to be ex ex exalted, right? Even though he didn't like Mordecai. Uh, uh, Mordecai. 
And when the, the king asked him a question, how to reward someone that's done something good, he thought it was him. And he, he because he thought it was him, he gave all the, the great things, the honorable things to do. Amen. And the Lord, the king said, then as you have saying that, right, go do that to Mordecai. <laughs> that is preparing a table before your enemy. That is preparing a table before your enemy. And Mordecai, no, Aman has to go with Mordecai, parade Mordecai around the town. Amen? To show him, to elevate him as a new, I, 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 in a new position. Do you see how God is preparing a table before you, before your enemies? That, that story between Haman and, and Mordecai is the typical, typical one. That's why in, in your in turn, even in your own in your own turn, God will do the same thing. So do not force Mordecai. Mordecai, if you see how uh, Amen has been doing, at the end of the day, Mordecai kept his cool, his cool. He always prayed to God. He always, but God did something that gave him that uh, uh, his not God uh, uh, put him into a place where he will hear the plans of the enemies, and he went. The people that were that, that was uh, that was uh, plotting to kill the king and he went and 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 and, and told about, about that that's how the king was saved and that was written in the book of of, of remembrance amen the book the book uh, uh, the book of records may all your good that you do in this life may it be recorded so in due times may that speak for you in the mighty name of jesus because that what speak for Mordecai. that's what speak for Mordecai. and more and make may the lord trouble the person that is holding that book so that that so that means that person can can open that book and remember and bless you and reward you accordingly because the king could not sleep the king could not sleep he said oh bring me bring me something that's gonna make me bored Eh? And so I can go back to sleep because they brought an ending. May God touch the people that will bring that book where your name is written, where your name of recording, where your name of the, the offering that you have done, your sacrifice that you have done. It is recorded. May they chose that book and then bring it to that person, to that destiny helper that will open it and that will remember you and bless you accordingly. Sometimes your destiny helpers are not aware of you. Are not aware, but but they know they, they they enjoy what you did, but they are, they don't remember anymore. I pray, as the God has disturbed the the King, Jesus, Amen, to to not sleep so that the book of of record can be open and to be read to Him. May He disturb your destiny, Harper, wherever He's, he's, he's finding Himself. May he disturb your destiny helper. May he cause the destiny helper not to be asleep until that destiny helper is manifesting. Is doing what it's supposed to do in your life in the mighty name, and my life in the mighty name of Jesus. And the people that he needs to, the, 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 the people that he needs to call, that destiny helper of yours and I, that, needs to, that need, he needs to use in order for that book to be remembered. May those people only bring the, 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 the right book in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let this be our portion. Let this be our portion. Though no matter what, no matter what is going on in our life, may we never cease to do good. May we never cease to be to do the right thing. May we never cease to seek God. May we never cease to cease to always, no matter what, pray for our enemies. Amen. And do good. Because those are the things that is written and that will speak for you and you and I. Those are the things that will speak for us. Amen. We give God the glory. And I pray that let this be our portion. As Mordecai was prayed, as Mordecai was lifted up. Ah, but 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 the, his naysayers. May you and I be also lifted up in due time. In Jesus' name. Blessing, uh, sister, sister Sajin. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, as you join, amen. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. And the other one is he anoint, amen. The next one, why, why we shall not lack because he will anoint a head with oil. In those times, when they they do that, it's because they want to distinguish all not guests at the banquet. So for that, they anoint the head with, uh, 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 with oil. 
May your may God anoint your hair and, and my, my head with oil to distinguish us against the a, 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 against others. So whatsoever we do do in life, so whatsoever in the name of Jesus, Christ, eh, that we that we either our, our work, either in our business, may we be distinguished people in the mighty name. May the Lord, the oil, anoint the oil of God be poured down in our head, so we may be distinguished in every area of our lives. In Jesus' name, most of the time. We ourselves, we set the banquet. We ourselves, we prepare in the table. We ourselves, we, an, we anoint the wrong people, the wrong as a guest, our, our guest of honor. And we're wondering why things are not working out. We're wondering why we are not lifted up. We're wondering why things are, are not, because we are doing it on, on, on our own. It's a step aside and let's God do it. Let God enter. Because it's God that needs to prepare the table. It's God that needs to anoint you. It's not you that needs to anoint yourself or anoint the, the, the wrong guest because you might think you know somebody, but you don't know them. Let God guide you. Amen. Do what you have to do. And let God prepare the table before you. Let God lift you up in due time. Don't lift yourself up. No. Because you lift yourself up, it's only going to be lead you to the downfall. Because there's a way that seems to right, but at the end is destruction. Unless we let God do what he has to do. And live a righteous life by, by letting God fight for us. God will never prepare a table before us, before our, before our naysayers, and anoint us higher than them. Because by anointing the head of honor of, 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 of people here, by anointing the head of David, he made him higher than the than 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 he made him higher than anybody else. May you not anoint your, your own head. May God anoint your own your, 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 your head so that you may be higher than your enemy in the name, name, name of Jesus. Amen. May God prepare a table before you in the presence of your naysayers. May your naysayers, may those that are accused you, may those that are brought that 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 brought that said negative things on, on you, that you cannot do this, that you cannot do that. May the God that, that, that rose from the dead, ah, Dalakaboshi, may he alone, ah, Kabasata, prepare that table, pre set up that, that situation, set up that promotion that you need, set up that, that whatsoever the blessings that are in due time, he will parade you around the town. He will parade you, he alone shall parade you uh, 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 around the city, around the nations, and then there you will know. They will know that God's hands is upon you. They will know that God's hands is upon us in the name of Jesus. And at the end of the day, as he announced you and I, that anointing that breaks the yoke, it will break that yoke and then will lift you higher in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The last part of this, and I want to say, I think I already, I went, I went beyond time. Uh, let, at least let me finish this one. This is the uh, verse six. Why again? We shall not lack. It says on verse six, surely goodness and, and love I will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Goodness of the Lord is a God is God's covenant with benefit to deliver and save. Amen. Some, I think some six, let me, if I can find this one. Uh, some six, four. Yeah. Some six, four says, turn, O Lord. And deliver me, save me because of your unfailing love. You see, so it's because of the unfailing love of God that we are delivered and that we are saved. I just wanted to bring. I just wanted to bring that to bring that part. So when he says here, let me bring back to the go back to that. Uh, so the goodness and the mercy or the love of God. Is a covenant with benefit to deliver us and to save us. To deliver us and to save us. So we are not lacking this power. We are not lacking because we, we, we made the Lord our shepherd. Unfailing love is a mercy. It's the mercy, the kindness of God. That's that unfailing love. That's what it is. Amen. Because goodness and because of its unfeigned love, it's because of that unfeigned love that we are delivered and saved. And that unfeigned love is the mercy and kindness of God, which denotes a strong sense of goodwill. And that goodwill is God is the willingness, amen, to help us. Is a willingness that we, we can rely on Him 
in time of need. He's telling us here that it doesn't matter what's going on in your life. You can rely on him, that he is there for you, that he is, is willing, amen, to help you in your time of need, that he will deliver you into that, that situation that you find yourself in, that he will save you out of that. Amen. Only him will do it, but you need to make him his Lord, uh, 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 your Lord, uh, your Lord and Savior. You may need to make him your shepherd, amen, to rule and to lead you, to guide you. And then for that, you will not lack this. You will not lack his unfailing love. You will not lack his deliverance. You will not lack his saving, uh, uh, saving hands. We all need saving. And for you not to lack that, you need to make Lord your shepherd. And the, 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 the thing that is really it's really important in, in here it says and i i will uh, uh, uh dwell in your house forever amen and, and before before i even go there he said goodness and mercy will follow i forgot that, that we follow goodness and love we follow so that means david here I was talking is that like follow following is what is pursuing right is is which usually which usually is like a, a negative intent right but david here was saying what that it doesn't matter what's going on even though i walk through the valley of shadow of death rather than having the dead following me rather than having whatsoever situation following me whether I, I, having having that negative things following me that problem following me day and night every moment every second in my life until the point that i cannot do anything in my in, in uh, during the day David is pursuing, he says, I would rather have, uh, uh, rather than having enemies ever pursuing David, he is saying he will have what? Goodness and the unfailing love of God to pursue him. Let this be our, our, our portion. Let this be our mindset. Instead of letting that, 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 that situation that is troubling your mind, because me, I, I th God, help me to apply this. <laughs> Trouble your mind to a point that you cannot walk, to a point that it gives you stress, to a point that it gives you a, 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 a hypertension. Ask God, now, nah, Fali, surely your goodness and your love. I want that to follow me all the days of my life. Is that that, I, that that will follow me? I don't care what I'm seeing. I don't care what I'm going through. I don't care what in the situation I am. And I declare and decree the goodness, only the goodness of uh, and the love of God, the unfailing love of God, the unfailing love that saves, that delivers. That one shall follow me. That's the one that shall follow me. That's the one that, that shall follow me every day of my life. As I wake up in the morning, it shall follow me. As I go through my day, it shall follow me. As I lay down to sleep, that shall follow me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let this be a prayer. And let this be a portion. And then the, the last part says, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. So it's not only goodness of the Lord that shall follow you, but also you will dwell in the house of the Lord. So you will dwell in the presence of the Lord. What is better than dwelling in the presence of the Lord? Have you ever dwelt, came into a place where you feel so peace? It seems like you, you, you can just, you can just spend, stay there forever. That's the presence of the Lord. The lost temple is the king's stronghold. At any place that you that you feel secure, that's a stronghold in your life. Because at some 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 uh, uh, I think it's twenty seven says, the Lord is the stronghold of my life. Make the Lord your stronghold. If the Lord is your stronghold, because the, uh, the, the Bible says the, our body is the temple of the Holy uh, the Holy Spirit. So that means uh, the show, the stronghold of our last uh, of, of, of of God is our stronghold, amen. So His presence is with us. If His presence is with us, so that means we're supposed to have a mindset of living in the in the in in a way like not like no other, living in the beauty of the Lord, living in within in, within the favor of the Lord, amen. Dwelling here is uh, is living on. So I think that that, that means. That presence of the Lord always live with us. That presence of the Lord, because we are, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. God is welcoming us to, 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 to dwell in his holiness, to dwell in his royal house. Amen. To dwell in his temple, not as a priest, but as, as the guest in this earth. In this earth, we are as a guest, right? But as a children of God, once we make heaven, as a children of God, as his children, we shall live forever. Because that's what Jesus says, I'm going to prepare a place for you. So we have a place that we would dwell in, in the presence of the Lord. Amen.
in the house of the Lord. Jesus went in, but, but for, for us to have that place, for, her, for, for us to be able to dwell in that house, we need to make Jesus our Lord and Savior. We need to make him our shepherd. That's the only, only, only time that we will not lack a house to dwell in. Amen? And then e even in this earth, like I said earlier, in, uh, uh, earlier in, in, in this broadcast, we have a roof to, to, uh, to sleep on. That's enough. That's enough to be thankful for. That's enough to say thank you, God, because uh, you have given me a roof to sleep on. And in that roof, you dwell in, the, in, in that roof. Because that roof, that house is on the, under the management of Jesus Christ. And on, on, I'm in that roof, I'm living in peace because the, 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 the spirit of the Lord lives in that, in, in, in that place. Amen? So there, is, there, is not, there will not be a set time. But, but it says forever because there will not be a set time that you will live in eternity if you make the Lord your shepherd. Throughout the years, there will not be. Nah, -uh, it's, uh -uh, it's like in this earth, throughout the years, you will live one in the house of the Lord. You surely goodness and mercy, amen, and it shall follow you because you are made him your, your, uh, your shepherd and you will be in his presence. There's no timing for that. Having access to the king, just imagine having access to a king. You need to be either a server, a servant, uh, employee. Or, or, or advisor or a family members but who are you when it comes to god which position are you are, are you taking because uh uh it doesn't matter most of the people says uh sometimes they says oh i'm not a priest or i'm not a reverend i am not a, 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 a apostle so i cannot i cannot prophesy i cannot this no guess what as long as you have access to the to to the to the kingdom of God, to the temple. But the Lord says, "I say you are the temple. You are your body is the temple. So that means you already have that access. So that means it doesn't matter how lower you you think that you are, a amen. How lower when you think that you have, you have everything that you need to lack nothing. You have everything that you need to prophesy on you, to prophesy on the situation that's going on, to 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 change that situation." You don't need to be a prophet to prophesy. You don't need to be a, 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 a I don't know, a highly rank. No, what they do, you also you can do. But the things that you need to make the Lord your shepherd, and you need to seek Him first and His righteousness for you to be able to receive that. Well, if you see Matthew fifteen twenty seven, and then if you read that that that, that I'm not gonna go go through. I don't have time. You will see. That there's a there's a there's a uh, uh let me let me if I can if I can even bring that I'm just gonna bring I'm not, I'm just gonna leave it to Matthew Matthew to that one verse I'm not gonna go I'll go further further than that so there's a um the gentile woman a gentile a Canaanite woman right that uh that came to ask Jesus for uh to uh, uh um mercy um. I think it, uh, it's from it started. I think it started from verse uh, verse 20, 20 second, that you can read Matthew fifteen twenty second from there. So she because her, her daughter was demon possessed, so she came and asked for that was a Canaanite a Canaanite woman uh, a Gentile, asked God for for healing for her daughter. Amen. Um, Jesus he did not even answer her. He didn't even say say a word. But the disciple was kind of urging her, trying to send her away, right? And she was crying and, and things like that. But uh um uh and then as she was doing it she, jesus answer jesus at one point she said uh she said this is what she said the kind of says woman um crying and lord lord son of david have mercy on me my daughter is suffering terrible from demon possessed right this is what jesus said jesus asked her just did not answer, right? So his disciples sent her away and things like that. And then I'm, I'm trying to see where, I think it's verse 27 that I was talking about. And the Lord replied. Um, and, and then she came, right? And when, when the disciple was, was chasing her away, uh, she came now towards Jesus, knelt down there, and then asked, uh, asked Lord, help me. She, that's why she said, help me. That you see the persistent that person and we need to be persistent in everything that we do when we ask god we need to be persistent it doesn't matter if until that until that 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 answer that prayer of yours is answered right that that request is answered don't stop don't don't stop asking don't stop asking god 
for for it. It doesn't matter if you think that you are a sinner because this one she was a gentile, and normally gentile just don't 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 go don't go alone don't 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 even come come close. But yet that's why at the beginning Jesus didn't want to answer her, but because of her insistence. She insisted, and then this is what Jesus Jesus said. And even when this, when she insisted, this this guess what Jesus said. This is replied to her. It is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Jesus insulted out this this woman because the dogs here is the kind of is the at that, that time was the gentile. So that means they had nothing to do with the Jews. So because what the blessings that, that it was the blessing of, of, of the Jews, right? And that's what it's, it's the children praise. It's for the if, if the blessing that he came here is it, it, it was for the Jews. But Jesus said here, I cannot give you what belongs to my children to the to to, uh, to dogs. But, but guess what turned things around? That's what Jesus said. If you have a faith as a mustard seed, you can turn things around. You can tell this mountain to move, and that, that mountain will move. What, 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 she, she melted the heart of Jesus, but look at her response. She said, yes, Lord. So she acknowledged who she is. She acknowledged that she is, she, she is a dog. That's the problem with us. Sometimes we don't acknowledge our, 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 our stance. We don't acknowledge who we are. We don't acknowledge our fault. And we're trying to point finger. We're always trying to give excuse. As much as we do that, every time that we do that, we are stopping our blessings. We are stopping are healing we are stopping our, our restorations this woman acknowledged who she is she she acknowledged that she is a dog she does not belong there but yet she said even the dogs eat the crumbs that falls from the master's table we don't need a lot we don't need a lot just come and then be open. Say, Lord, I repent of my sins. I know that I have sinned against you. It's only the power that will fall. Until you recognize who you are. Until you recognize your fault and come to repent and ask God. I know I don't deserve to be here. I know I don't deserve for you to answer me. But you're pleased by your mercy. I, I repent. I have sinned. Please, by your mercy. Blind Batinian cried out. He said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. And his mercy opened his eyes. May as you cry out unto the Lord, genuinely, with all your heart, may he answer you in the name of Jesus. This woman, because of her faith, because it's, it's one thing to have mercy, and it's another thing to have faith. She believed, she knew who Jesus is. She knew who was Jesus. But did you know who is Jesus in your life? He's, uh, tomorrow we, we're celebrating Easter. Why are you celebrating Easter? It's for bunnies, for eggs? No, Jesus is the reason for the season. He is the, he is the reason why, why we, 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 uh, 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 we don't have any anymore uh, 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 peace eh? to, 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 uh, 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 to wash our, our, our sins with, with, with animal blood. He is the one that replaced that. He is the one that brought us, uh, uh, redeemed our life. She recognized not only who God is, who Jesus was, she recognized her place, who she is. She recognized her fault. She recognized everything. And she said, yes, I know. But God, Jesus, I know that you are faithful. I know that you are compassionate. I know that you, that's what, that's what she, she, she was she was saying. I believe that you can turn things around. I believe with you, there's no barrier. I believe with you. It doesn't matter what the devil uh, 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 brought at me, that you can turn things around. I believe that even that, that small that small blessings, you still have a small blessings for me. I might not get the, the big blessings. All I need is the crumbs of blessings. That the crumbs of blessings, with that crumbs of blessings, I know my daughter shall be healed. With that crumbs of blessings, I know I shall be delivered from that addiction. With that crumbs of blessings, I know my anger shall go. With that crumbs of, uh, that crumbs of blessings, I know that you will turn things around for me. But do you believe, brothers and sisters, do you believe? This woman had faith. Only she said she does, she shows only she, all, the only thing she needs is, is the crumbs. She doesn't need the, the bread. She only needs the crumbs. And that comes to be enough for her. Like the same thing of the woman with the issue of blood. All she needed is only to touch the garment. She doesn't need Jesus to touch her. All she needed, she said, I just need to touch the garment of Jesus to be healed. That's a higher level of faith. That's the higher level of faith. Most of us, we, we want men of God to touch us, to pour oil on us, to do things. Those are ceremonial. 
Those are ceremonial. We don't need that. Those are ceremonial. All we need is a little faith. That's what Jesus said. We only need a faith of a mustard seed. Amen. And that and that and that will turn. That will turn mountains. That will turn that mountain that you are going through away. That will lift up that heaviness that you have. That will clear up whatsoever that is fogging in your life. Amen. That will lift. That will that will restore your life. That will bring back what what was was dead. That will bring life into your life. Jesus answer answer her and said, "Woman, you have a great faith." Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed from that very hour, from that very moment. You see that little mustard of seed, of hope, of belief that she had, turned to a great faith. But uh, like I said, there was a sequence that happened, right? She recognized who she, who, who she was. She recognized who Jesus was. And, she's, and she recognized her place. And she admitted, but she asked, she, she says, she, if, if we will call what, what she, she called, how she called, called Jesus earlier, Lord, the son of David, Lord, help me. So she made him uh, her Lord. She made him, uh, him, her shepherd, even though she didn't deserve, even though she was an ask outcast. And when he saw it, that's why we said, Jesus, is, Jesus didn't, didn't even come, didn't, didn't come here for only the Jews. No, he come, he came for ev everybody. So it doesn't matter what they say you are. It doesn't matter how far they think that they, they say that, that, that you are you went. Jesus still loves you. Jesus still is a wait, is awaiting you. Amen. To, for you to come back, to just cry out for mercy, cry out for repentance. And then accept him, accept your fault, accept whatever your shortcoming, accept whatsoever that whatsoever that is is, is binding you that, that, that you, you, you cannot get out of it. And then surrender all the situation to, uh, to him, your circumstances, and he alone will take it, take care of it. He alone will lift you up. He alone will we, we dissolve that, 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 that situation. And at that very hour, at that very moment, like this woman, you, you will be healed. Your healing will come. Your deliverance will come. Your promotion will come. Your business will improve. Whatsoever you're asking, whatsoever it is, it will come in the matching name of Jesus. Ah, uh, I don't think um <laughs> I, I think I, I will continue later on. Uh, but I just want us to keep in mind that there's a lot for us to be thankful for. There's a lot for us to be grateful for. And uh, everything that we going on to, going on in life, God has given God, God is is it doesn't matter what it is, God is with us. God is always with us. It doesn't matter the situation. God is always with us and he will never leave us nor forsake us. And he has given us all that we need. He has given us all that we need. Search your heart. Search your heart and you will see. Like that widow, widow that died. And then call, call uh, 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 Elijah. And then she, and she, did, she said she doesn't have anything. But Elijah said, you, you have an oil in your house because of that oil. She was able to pay her, her debt and the debt of her husband. She was able to live a, a lavish life, even better, better than her, when her, her husband was alive. Don't dismiss the things that you have in your heart. Don't dismiss the thing that God has given you. Because what you have is what you need. And anything else that you don't, ask God. Is he, it, might, it might be a want. Because if you need, God will provide for you. And maybe, maybe there's something that you need. But the thing, the things that the timing that you're asking, you're asking for a, a food that is not ripe, ripe yet. And if God give you that, that that green, that food that is green, it will be sour. And you yourself, you will reject that. And that will be a blessing of God that you that that, that you that you rejected. Sometimes it's because of, of our timing, because of our, our impatience. That's why we that's why we're saying that oh we lack we lack no God is a God of timing one day in in, in the eyes of God is a ten thousand is a thousand in 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 uh, in, our, in 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 our, in our, in our, our day today 
God is never late. It doesn't matter if you think that you're late. If we think that is late. God is, is a God of timing. And everything he does in the right time, in the right time, at the right moment, at the one place. But it's us. Are we ready? Are we on the right place? Are we at the right time? And are we behaving the way we're supposed to behave? Let this be our meditation. Because tomorrow is Easter. As we celebrate Easter, think again. Reflect. Did I make the, Jesus my Lord and Savior? Did I make Jesus my shepherd? Am I surrendered to him? Am I listening to his voice when he speaks? Am I behaving the way I'm supposed to behave? Am I, am I acting the way I'm supposed to act? All of that contribute. Do I have the faith? Do I have the belief that no matter what's going on in the, in the, dark, in the valley of the, the, the shadow of death, do I believe that he is with me? Do I believe that, that sometimes when, when, when things are going on, when you're correcting me, it is good for me. I need to accept. I need to learn the the, to learn and pass the test. Brethren, let us take this time to reflect and surrender every, everything to God and stop complaining. Stop lamenting and, be, and, and start being more thankful. Thankful to God. Thankful for what we have. And be thankful even for the things that we don't have. Because if you look at our life, our life we have more than, than other people. We have more than of, uh, the mo most people out there. Let us be more grateful, more thankful, and give glory to God. And make sure the name of God is not tarnished. The honor of God is not tarnished by our actions, by our behavior. Because we have the tag of God in us. We are carrying the brand of God. We are carrying the logo of God. So are we celebrating Easter tomorrow? Let this be a remembrance that in everything that I do, the spirit of the God, the Lord is in me. He created me in his image. So may everything I do, let, let it be righteous. Let it be pure. Let it be holy. And bring all honor to God for his name's sake. Not honor to anybody else. But honor to God for his name's sake. As people see, see, see us, let them see the logo of God. Let them see the characteristic of God. Let them see the fruit of the spirit overflowing in us. In Jesus' name. That's my prayer for you. Uh, amen. Father, I thank you. I give you all the praise. I give you the glory. Thank you for your, uh, your, your blessings. Thank you for uh, this word. Thank you, Father, Lord, for all of your teaching, oh God. Thank you, Father, for transforming us, Lord. Let us be tomorrow as we celebrate Easter, so God. As we celebrate, Lord, in the your resurrection, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, that that we 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 think, we take a stand, oh Lord, that will be beneficial, ah, Father, Lord, for or for the advancing of the kingdom. That we taking, oh God, change, oh God, stands, oh God, the oh Lord, that will give you honor, and glorify your name, oh Lord. Because you are the only one that leads us to the right place for your name's sake. For your name's sake, not anybody's sake. May we this may, may, may this be engraved in our heart and convicted so that me any step that we take, any decision that we make, oh Lord God, let us ask, what will Jesus say? What will Jesus do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ? Thank you for this time that you have given us. Thank you, Father Lord, for the, uh, the life that you have given, for provision, protection, to God, for feeding us, Lord, for protecting us, oh God, for shielding us in the name of Jesus. We cannot do without you, Lord. We make you, we take a decision to make you as our Lord and Savior today. And we, we ask for forgiveness of our sins. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy upon us. And as we make you our Lord and Savior, we declare, Lord, you are our shepherd. Come and shepherd our lives, O God. We release every control, O Lord. We release any control, every control, O God. Anything that we may holding on to, Father, we release it into your hands. And we take, take control, O God. Take control of our life, take control of our mind, take control of anything that concerns us in Jesus' name. As we go, Oh Lord, Father, we pray, oh Lord, uh, for your will to be done in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be gracious to you and your family. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord establish the work of your hands. Uh, and may, the, may, may 
May may he be may he be the one that you call for help. May he may he heal may he heal uh, 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 may he may he shield you, Amen. And then may he vindicate you in every situation, in every things that you may face. And he continue to fight for you and lift you up in a in the presence of your enemies. May he prepare that table in the presence of your enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I pray, oh God, that your, wherever your feet step upon, oh Lord, you shall. I, I, I pray that you and I, as your feet step upon, wherever as feet step upon, we. Shall uh, enjoy the the, the, the uh, 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 we shall take possession of that of that land, and we shall enjoy the the food and the milk and honey of that place in the name of Jesus. As He bless you, I pray that you remain humble. I pray that you be obedient, and I pray that you continue to focus on Him, seeking Him and His righteousness, and the rest shall be given to you in the mighty name. I pray that that pride departs from you, greed departs from you, the works of the flesh departs from you now in this year 2024. And I pray that you expand, that you allow Him to expand you so He can walk through you because it's a year of expansion. I pray that He that you give that He give that that He help you to give to make room for Him uh, in your life in every, every area so that He may walks in you and through you and for you in the mighty name of Jesus. May God grant you strength and then fill you up, empower you and so that you can remain faithful in season, in season out in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. Uh, and I pray also that God, that, that you find that, that, that you find peace uh uh in in every season and i pray that god continue to uh to go with you and then i pray that the, um everything that you desire in this season and this time that it may be granted to you in the mighty name of Jesus. that's my desire and and then i pray that the the plans of god manifest in your life and, and you see his glory amen thank you for watching thank you for uh uh, for sharing, for liking is really important. Please go ahead and do so. And also, and before I go, I want you to remember that, uh, <laughs> remember one thing, this is a, a mantra, eh? amen, that you are victorious and overcomer. You are more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthen and love you. So go out there and be just that until we meet again, remain great, uh, blessed and by God's grace in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you.